In this video, we're going to work to restyle the cells on the categories, choose a view controller, so they look a bit more nice. So let's get started. Okay, if you recall, we've got a custom cell for those called category cell. Now, firstly, we want to change the font to use the new font category we created before. So we'll import the category and use the category method called category, because they were image categories. Hope that doesn't confuse you. And we'll get rid of the text alignment so it's left aligned. We will add a constant for the text margin. We'll use this when laying out the text. Now, the, what I used there was a text expansion tool, you, part of Dash, which is quite handy. But the resulting text can be typed by anyone, really. What I've got here is static. That limits this constant to only being usable inside this class. And it doesn't leak outside, so you don't need to worry about uh, two variables, both called k text margin clashing if they're in two different classes and it's an int and the value is 10. So let's use it further down and lay out subviews. We will be laying out the text at the bottom. To do so, firstly we'll need to figure out how tall it needs to be. So we'll get the height of the normal font plus two margins. And we'll use that to inform our rectangle for the name frame. And now it'll start at key text margin rather than at completely at the left. The Y position will be the bottom. So it'll be the height minus the text height. The width will be the, the entire width of the content view, minus two margins for the left and right, and the height will be the text height we figured out earlier. Right, let's run that and see how that looks. As you can see, it's now much more interesting, it's at the bottom left, it's a nicer font. However. You can't really read motorbikes because the underlying image is a bit too light. So what we'll do is add something behind the text. Now, rather than just have a um, dark, transparent area, we'll use a gradient, both because it's a um, it look nicer and it's a good example for you to learn. So let's do that. We'll put the gradient under the name. So we'll put an instance variable for that. it we'll set the colors that it will interpolate between now because it's core animation you have to do you have to use CG colors instead of UI colors and they need to be cast to an ID to fit inside an NS array this is a little bit of a hack but it's uh, one of those things so the top color will be will be black with zero alpha, so you won't see it. And the bottom color will be black with 0.7 alpha, so not completely obscuring the image under it. Now we'll need to add that to the hierarchy. and we will need to lay it out. Now, its frame will be almost the same as the name, except it will go all the way to the sides. So it'll start all the way at the left, and its width will be the full width. All right, let's run that and see how that looks. Great, and there we have it. Motorbikes is clearly visible. 
the text, I mean, it's clearly readable. And the gradient is subtle enough that you don't really realize what's going on. It looks quite nice, I think. Certainly uh, pretty good considering there's no designer input so far on this app. All right, thanks for watching.